We've got the M8 armored gun system called the AGS. This is a uh, vehicle designed to support the infantry for the infantry brigade combat teams. It's a full spectrum system, supports everything from forcible entry operations to stability operations. Well, what makes this system unique is that it is equipped with scalable armor solution. Uh, so uh, what that means is uh, you can scale the armor up or down uh, to support different deployment options. Uh, what that means is uh, you can scale the armor down, deploy it by C-130 airdrop, uh, C-130 roll-on, roll-off, uh, and or you can actually transport three of these uh, from a C-17 with level three armor, which gives you a very high level of protection. So we're showing the vehicle today in two of three levels uh, of armor. So there's a level one package of armor, uh, and today we're showing the vehicle on this left side of the vehicle, it's at level two armor. And that's an applique that's applied to level one. It's installable in less than three hours uh, by a crew of three with onboard tools. Uh, on this side, on the right side of the vehicle, we have uh, the level three armor package, and that gives you uh, protection against uh, handheld heat. And again, this is another package that's installable in the field by the crew uh, in three hours with onboard tools. The system is equipped with a M35 uh, main gun uh, that is served with a 21 ready round autoloader. That auto, auto loader allows the system uh, to fire at a rate of 12 rounds per minute. The system as it's equipped today has uh, got a generation one a forward-looking infrared sensor, a day and night operation, uh, fully stabilized shoot on the move. Uh, we are working on a solution for second generation flare. So the vehicle is a rear drive system, six road wheels, torsion bar suspension, and uh, you can see that we've got uh, composite rubber track integrated on the solution. That improves fuel economy, gives you better ride quality, reduces overall noise of the system. Uh, it's powered by a 550 horsepower engine. Uh, that provides uh, significant horsepower per ton ratio, so it's very agile, uh, top speed of 45 miles per hour. The M8 AGS is, uh, is operated by a crew of three. You have a driver, a commander, and a gunner. And uh, the reason that the turret is operated by a crew of two is that it, the uh, main gun is served with an autoloader. Well, the autoloader enables a rate of fire that is uh, 12 rounds a minute, which is absolutely significant. It also allows you uh, to select rounds uh, and, and uh, chamber rounds and, re and unchamber rounds uh, to the exact locations where they were in the autoloader magazine. So we intend to offer a modernized version of the M8 AGS for the mobile protected firepower requirement, that's MPF. Uh, the improvements that uh, we are intending to integrate is improved sites. So we'll go to a Gen uh, 2 uh, FLIR site uh, with the uh, uh, path to Generation 3 capability. We will modernize uh, and refresh the turret electronics to include uh, command and control uh, and, uh, and update the digital backbone uh, for the system. We will uh, modernize the powertrain, replace the engine, electronically controlled engine, and engine's uh, technology today has much better uh, power uh, density and so we'll be modernizing the powertrain as well.